With Morbius and Venom 2 right around the corner, let's talk about who would be joining the Sinister Six. So let's talk about the villains that are in the MCU. Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion, Mysterio, and possibly Chameleon. I say Chameleon because Dimitri is a hint. Either he's going to be in the Sinister Six or not. He's probably going to become the Chameleon somewhere. Probably in a Chameleon standalone film since Sony is making random movies about random Spider-Man characters. I guess. But let's talk about my prediction. So... Some people are speculating that both Morbius and Venom would be part of the Sinister Six. Now, I do not think so. So, oh, the thing is, both Morbius and Venom are going to be anti-heroes in the Venomverse, which is something that Sony says. And the problem is, they were also anti-heroes in the comics. Of course, teams like the Thunderbolts and the Suicide Squad are her villain teams with both villains and anti-heroes. But let's discuss that real quick. Yes, I do know that Vulture is in the post credit scene. No, 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 sorry about that. Is in the ending of the Morbius trailer. But this does not mean that he's going to be joining the Sinister Six. And this especially does not mean that Morbius is in the MCU. Let's talk about the Sinister Six thing. Now, if Morbius is in the Sinister Six, the thing is, is either her Morbius hates Spider-Man and he falls for the lies, or, or maybe, maybe Morbius is still a mindless monster inside, or, or Vulture promised him something, like a actual cure to his bloodying disease, but he actually did find a cure in the comics. I do not know. If you guys have any theories on why Morbius could join the Sinister Six, leave them in the comments below. Venom, obviously not, but characters like Carnage is pretty possible. Carnage, I do not think, was in any incarnation of the Sinister Six, according to Wikipedia. And, of course, we have both Carnage and Shriek coming to Venom 2, who, maybe for diversity's sake, have Shriek he could be part of the Sinister Six, have the Sinister Six first on-screen female member. But let's keep on talking. So, I do think that they're going to extend the contract with Spider-Man the MCU. I do think they would make a sequel trilogy for Spider-Man. I do think they would be able to reach a new deal. But, who would be the Sinister Six? Either Sony is setting up the Sinister Six movie they wanted to make ever since the Tasm movies. Or, they're just setting up the Sinister Six in the MCU. For the Sinister Six in the MCU, I might have to say it's Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion... Hobgoblin, Mysterio, and Craven. Now, the reason why I say Craven, because there's been a lot of rumors and hints that he's going to be the villain of Spider Man 3. Hobgoblin, like, for Goblin's sake, just put in, put in a fan favorite that hasn't been in a film yet. Like Hobgoblin. I'm a fan of Hobgoblin. I don't like him more than Green Goblin, but he is awesome. For the Venomverse, I might have to say probably Vulture, since he's been confirmed at this point. Mysterio, since he's getting his own standalone movie. Hobgoblin and Craven, they're also getting their own standalone films. Carnage, Carnage seems to be very possible. If they are putting Doc Ock and Morbius, then possibly. Carnage, Carnage does seem him to be he likely at this point. Probably Shriek. He, I don't know if Shriek is going to live past Venom 2. Carnage is definitely going to live past Venom 2 because Carnage is so popular. Why would you run out of plans after Venom 2? Especially after the rumors of uh, Carnage standalone movies. And yes, I do think it'll happen. I do think Carnage will be a fan favorite in Venom 2. Would Venom 2 be a success? I kind of don't think so because of the mixed reviews. But the first film was a big success. Since it fed off the 90s nostalgia. The, if you say that the Disney live action remakes fill your nostalgia... A heart, then Venom does too, because Venom, he's more of a 90s character. He didn't debut in the 90s, but he did have his own comic storyline in the 90s, and then he gained really big popularity. So, so what is it with Carnage? So, 
I'm a big fan of Carnage. I'm more of a fan of the character than Venom. Sure, I, I do really love Venom. I am a big fan of the symbiotes. So, what is Carnage's rumored deal in Venom 2? Quick, quick warning. There's possibly going to be spoilers, but this is a leak, so take it with a grain of salt. It's described that Cletus Cassidy, he gets help from Shriek to break out of prison. Played by Rebecca Romaine. Now we do not know if the a rumor of Rebecca Romaine playing Shriek is true. But let's continue with it. So, or this, I do not know. So, it is also described that, that either Cletus Cassidy is getting the Carnage symbiote while the prison escape, or later. It is unknown if Carnage will be the offspring of Venom in this movie, but it does seem that, that they're sticking more to the comics. Like, Shriek helps Cletus Cassidy break out of jail, jail, and Cletus Cassidy is about to have a death sentence for 14 murders. There's going to be Carnage. Now, there's nothing else known about wh how they're going to treat Carnage in this movie. The reason why I am really excited for Venom 2, it, it's like my number four most anticipated movie of the year, is because Carnage is in it. I really hope they do not screw him up in this movie. Even if it's PG-13, they need to not screw Carnage up. Because I really love Carnage, and I have a compassion for the character. And, and if they're going to make a Carnage standalone movie, it has to be rated R. And I do not care about Avi Arad's Kids Love Venom BS. Because Carnage is such a violent character. He's as violent as Ghost Rider and Blade. And yeah. So now let's talk about why I do not think Morbius and Venom 2 are in the MCU. Now, the reason why I do not think Morbius and Venom 2 are in the MCU is because this is the Venomverse. This is the Spider-Man cinematic universe that Sony always wanted to make. Morbius, Venom 2, there, it makes no sense for the sequel of Venom to take place in another universe. And the thing was, the original plan, after Spider-Man was taken out of the MCU, the original plan was to still make Spider-Man 3 and a Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland, but not connect it into the MCU. And Morbius, Venom 2, Madam Web still happening. And uh, although Michael Keaton Vulture is in the Morbius trailer. Sorry, I think I have a speech impediment or something. I don't know. It's probably just puberty. But let's keep on talking. So, the reason why I don't think Morbius is in the MCU because Michael Keaton Vulture is in it is because the Vulture is a Sony property. The Vulture is a Spider-Man villain from the comics. Sony owns that character. They have the right to cast Michael Keaton, which is why I mean, they have the right to Tom Holland. Tom Holland is rumored to be in Morbius and Venom 2. And it makes a lot of sense for him to be. Like, why not? Oh, man, just... Why not? And Venom 2, it's a sequel to a, who, a film in the Venomverse. Like, it makes no sense. Sorry for that noise that comes on when every time when someone opens the door. So, yeah. As much as I really want Morbius and Venom to be part of the MCU, Venom mostly... I do not think they are. Venom, I think, could come if Marvel and Sony cross paths. I don't say Disney because as Disney has no involvement with the films except for the distribution and all that stuff. Uh, but, but hey, who knows when they're going to come. Things can change from a flip of a coin. I would only believe that Morbius and Venom 2 are in the MCU is if only... If they both mention the blip, Iron Man, and the Avengers. If Morbius and Venom 2 mention all those three things, I'll believe that they're in the MCU. Anyway guys, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys later.